The Miami Dolphins are heading to Chicago this week for joint practices with the Bears and Mike Jasicki will be participating. Mike Jasicki was the last player remaining on the COVID IR list and the Dolphins have activated him this morning. This means that the Dolphins have all of their tight ends ready to roll this weekend, except one. It has been two days since Hunter Long went down and was carted off the field and we still do not know the extent of the injury or whether he will miss the entire season or part of it. This is the new Miami Dolphins folks. Information that isn't necessarily required to be released to the media will not be. The Dolphins are taking the New England approach to releasing information regarding players and while we as fans may not like that it is probably a good thing. Gone are the days of the head coach giving away their plans and talking about players specifically when they probably shouldn't. The Dolphins no longer air out their dirty laundry publicly and that is really how it should be. Players won't be tossed under a bus and that should eliminate some of the friction that we have seen in the past. I find it hard to believe that the issues that led to the trades of Jarvis Landry and Jay Ajayi would have culminated into what they did. Adam Gase didn't handle the team very well internally and it boiled over. While the Dolphins' Brian Flores seems to be someone who wants to work with the players first and then find alternative solutions if they can't work things out, like with Minka Fitzpatrick. At least for now, Jasicki is back on the field and ready to get to work. Hopefully, we will find out something regarding Long soon. In other news, the Dolphins released long snapper Rex Sunahara.